Welcome back, I'm DRN and this is Mecha Bellum. We're going to our fourth game of this week's tournament. We've won two and lost one. We're going up against More Enthusiast, who's got almost 100,000 combat power, but I don't recognize any of the people he's played against. I really hope he's not AFK, that would be very anticlimactic. There we go, let's do this. Hmm. Ariel's got a good set of units for aggro. Marksman's already well set up, all it needs is chaff. But I'm going to go with heavy armor because I like these tanks. I think tanks are very strong in the early game. He likes to play slow. He very much takes his time. Oh, he didn't get randomized, he picked in the last second. Okay. He's quick supply specialist with millions of tanks. So we're expecting a tank overload. Two in, two across, nice even spacing. In fact, let's go three across again, because we've got these fangs. I don't want to be lined up with crawls behind the tower. Let's get some snipers in case he goes fancy and gets some aircraft. But also, because early snipers versus tanks will get levels and start popping them, like balloons. Well, hopefully. Everything he's got at the moment is weak to sniper. And let's find out what he's gone for. Ooh, millions of tanks. Yep, that's what we expected. Glad we've got the snipers. So because he starts with the extra 200 gold, we are behind the tempo, which is going to be a little bit frustrating to begin with, but we'll just have to weather the storm and wait for our own specialist to start paying dividends later on. We need our snipers to get a hat full each. Mm, we're going to lose this right hand sniper quite early because these tanks are going to pull across. One more shot, one more shot, one more shot, come on, come on, yes. And another? Nah, we're dreaming. So many tanks. Quick Supply is so good with the tempo. It's one of my favorite starts. If you have tanks and Quick Supply, you're just away. The building experience from killing the tower as well is not good for us. At least we've got a few kills in our snipers, got them some experience. Ooh, RNG has smiled upon us this day. Scorpion, yes! The natural predator of the tank. He's going to predict what we do here and take the phoenixes or the stormcallers, which is why I've picked up the extra sniper here. Let's pull him back a little bit. And never forget to unlock a unit, you never know when you're going to need it. Our flanks are wide open. If I was him I'd drop crawler crawler and then we would be scuppered. And I really wish we had the money to upgrade you. Oh well, let's see what he's thinking. Phoenixes. Lots of phoenixes and all three on this side, interesting. We'll need to go anti our snipers if we get the chance. Or just go Mustang, but Mustang into this many tanks is terrible. Right, now it's our Scorpion's turn to get a hat full of kills. Yes, love their splash damage. We're looking a lot healthier now, we're taking these bite sized chunks out of his tank line. Just gonna be these Phoenixes we need to enter next. We've done well over her. This swarm of Phoenixes. We've got the marks and we can already beat them. It's just so many of them. Oh, that's brutal. Killing the tower saved his arc light. Ah, we still got it, okay. Phew. Saves us 100 health and gets us 200 experience in that unit. Only problem is his phoenixes are raking in the experience as well. We're starting to put some pressure on him. Really has to be tech specialist here. Can't fall behind on this this early. Let's get our corner covering crawlers going. Let's try and say that five times fast. Corner covering crawlers, corner covering crawlers, corner covering crawlers, corner covering crawlers. Wait, was it corner covering crawlers or corners covered in crawlers? <laughs> small amusements for small minds. But I'm happy and that's all that matters, right? We've got 300 left over. I'm debating between Antia and Range on the Marksman. If we take Antia and then he sells out the Phoenixes, we're in trouble. So that's why we've gone Range first. Fangs in the front line to protect his Phoenixes. We might be facing the triple F comp. All he needs now is the forts. Our snipers now they've got rangers sitting much further back so they're much safer. Hopefully they can get some more work done and pick off these phoenixes. We're crushing this side. Oh, I don't know why the camera jumped there. Little micro stutter. Whilst I was panning across, I think we're CPU limited right now. We're stabilizing here on the right, but this scorpion's gonna get melted on six phoenixes open fire on him at once. Oof, we could do with heavy armor on him. Come on, get the arc light. Oh, he's a beefy boy. We're gonna lose this tower again. He's just farming it for experience, we need to level it up. Can make the debuff last two seconds less, and give it eight times the amount of health. It's not bad for 100. Just because these extra tanks were not quite fighting on fair footing. But we're making inroads. Slowly but steadily we're catching up. 
Oh my, these are all good. My instinct is senior defense specialist for the extra 30% health, but it won't change too many of our matchups. Ooh, I think we can punish this positioning. With his phoenixes all lined up like this, I'm very tempted by the iron cannon again. Yeah, let's do it. Select target. This should be okay, I'm not sure. This might be just getting the tanks. Ion cannon charging. Thank you. Level you up, triple the stats, half the price, what a bargain. No one else needs level ups, okay. Hmm, there's so many different paths we can take right now. So many different avenues we can go down. I think we need to clear his chaff faster, that's going to be the key right now. So that our scorpions and snipers can get the tanks down. So let's grab two more sets of tanks. And we've got the money, so let's get another set of late arriving crawlers. Hopefully to distract his phoenixes. If I've targeted this iron cannon right, we're just perfect. If not, then it might be a tough round. Find out in a second. I've got all our free units. Let's go. Ion cannon ready. Here it comes, the moment of truth. Nice, nice. Do we get the phoenix? No. Ah, oh, we missed the phoenixes. Ah, oh, close, but not close enough. The whole point was to get the phoenixes. Should do it in this direction. I need to be watching the round more closely to pay attention to where they stand and fight. It's a little bit harder with flyers because the camera angle plays tricks on you. We need more snipers for sure. This is way too many phoenixes for three to handle. Ooh, saved by the tower. Nice. Oh no, now it's his turn to get saved by the tower. Ooh, good amount of experience here for our snipers. Turn over round. Nice. And all it cost was an iron cannon. Thank you, the GDI. Ooh, three units already. I swear it comes around so fast. That's a lot of wasps and a lot of stormcallers. The big wraith could be a problem as well if it gets armor or regen. I'm going to go with the wasps, actually. Give them anti air as well. So they are a chaff that can kill phoenixes for us, and it's quite difficult for him to remove. At least for a turn or two until he buys the mustangs. And if he does that, we go Vulcan or Fire Stormcaller and kill them. So if he's taken wasp, we win the mirror match, and they're going to ignore stormcallers or hackers on the ground as well. Get our upgrades. Our snipers are now getting really deadly. Let's grab two more and get anti-air on them because he's showing range on his phoenixes so he can't sell out. And this way we've got some heavy hitters if he has gone with the wraith with armor or regen. Upgrade these tanks. They've earned it. Double the stats. Half the price. Can't say fairer than that. Here we go. Stormcores make sense. Good number of mustangs as well so that kind of covers our wasp play. Hopefully our tanks can survive. We're going to need more chaff to distract these storm cores. It doesn't have range on his mustangs, so they're running into the tank line. We need to get that tower. This side is struggling. Come on. We need to get that tower before everything dies, we won't see the benefit. Oof, a second too late. Unlucky. Oof, still so many phoenixes, and I haven't upgraded this tower. I am an idiot. No, the stone claws have got too much value for him. Ouch, we're losing control of the game again. He made a nice read with those mustangs. Difficult. Hmm. He has an easy job here. He takes the damage item, slams it on some mustangs which did the most damage, and calls it job done. I'm tempted to do the same with our wasps that got level 2, so they can take that tower even faster. The other choice then would be absorption module and slam it onto this scorpion which is level 2. And maybe even take field maintenance as well for the double regen effect. I think his phoenix is a high enough level that he'll be able to kill it. So I think we're in an arms race now. Wasp versus Mustang. I would much prefer to be the Mustang player. <laughs> but never mind, we'll make it work. Upgrade the tower at long last, get mobile beacon, it's about time. Come on, let's show what calibre of player we are. All his units are a little bit skewed here on the right, so we can punish that by making sure our crawlers distract all of his storm crawlers, which would be an awful lot of value for us. And this will pull some of his right hand side units into the left hand side, but we're stronger. The issue we're having here is these tanks on the right side are not living long enough to kill off the mustangs as they hit the front line. And I don't think we can save them. They're getting bullied by their bigger brethren. 
So these unanswered mustangs are a problem for our wasps. We've got to upgrade these scorpions, it's about time. Double the stats, half the price. Got to do it. And the question is, what's a good answer to mustangs that's cost efficient for 400? My normal answer would be just get armor on the tanks, but the tanks aren't living long enough. Maybe the armor will help them live long enough to do their job better. Let's get one more unit of chaff to distract these storm claws a bit more. Okay, even more Mustangs and range on the Mustangs. Our wasps are doomed. Hopefully the tanks with a bit of armor can keep them busy for a while. Ah, if only our tanks with level 2 ones hurt. His early rounds tempo advantage is kind of still paying him off here. Scorpion's kicking ass and taking names though, that's good. Wasps over there on the left side are actually doing work. They've got an item on a level, which means they're doing four times base damage, which is pretty good. Get the tower, get the tower, get the tower. Yes! Thank you. Much quicker this time. We're chewing through his units, but he's got so much stuff left. Ooh, we're going to lose this tower again. Ouch. Ooh, not quite. It's so close, though. Ugh. I swear it's those two extra sets of tanks from the start. They've been the difference in every single round. I'm tempted to go Vulcan with range and fire. Ooh, Acid or EMP, the big one. Hmm, it's gotta be EMP. He can't protect his phoenixes, because they'll fly over any shield bubbles he puts down. But he'll probably still feel obligated to put the shields down because of the acid. So this is a big win-win for us. These guys are not doing a lot right now. These wasps have done 2,000 damage, which is not a good return for a 200 cost unit with a technology on it. Let's start recycling these ones on the right-hand side for scrap metal, because there's too many Mustangs over here for them to fight. Now we are rich. Let's get our level ups, double the stats, half the price. Oh yeah. Oh, I'd love to get these Vulcans, but it's going to cost too much. Can't quite afford it. Looks like it's Stormcallers for us. Let's get fire on them so they can burn the Mustangs on the ground. And we can afford a third set, nice. He's got more units here on the right, so let's focus on the right side ourselves. I feel like we're still a little bit thin on chaff on the left side, but oh well. We're playing for our life, so we have to take temporary range, but we're so far behind his max health that I can't afford to push plus 200. Because if we take that 200 gold loan, we're at economic disadvantage for the rest of the game when he isn't. So let's not bury ourselves in debt, we don't need to, it's the last. EMP is exactly as expected, and we've wrecked his shields, so that's kind of 200 gold wasted on his part. And now his phoenixes don't have the bonus range, they're going to walk too far forward and get picked off. Only downside is two of our three new sets of stone cores don't have fire rockets for a little while. Perhaps I should have shielded instead of temp range, but I think temp range is a must. From now until the end of the game, really. Come on, wasps, get this tower, we need you. Go on, yes! I thought his mustangs were going to hold us off for a second then. It brought us a bit more time to play in. He gets the tower as well, but that's the one with the shorter debuff. Nice. Can we survive? Ooh, it's close. Yes, good work, snipers. Good work. <laughs> Feels a bit weird fighting storm callers with storm callers. But you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Hmm, this is kind of between extended range storm caller and junior manufacturing specialist. But we're so late in the game, I'm not sure I'm gonna get value from junior manufacturing. So it's kind of extended range storm caller versus skip. We're kind of just using our stone callers as a fire delivery service, and it's a mirror matchup as well, so I think the range is necessary. If he takes it and we don't, we'll be kicking ourselves afterwards. Get our level ups. Level 3 scorpion is amazing. It's so tanky. And our level 3 snipers with popping tanks. Ooh, level 4 wasps. Elite might get value here. I think our best way of supporting those wasps is to sell the other ones, so we can't justify Select taking anti armor target. mustangs. No, that's wrong. We need to go crossways more. Target. About here? Oh, I'm doubting myself now. We just had a round where the Phoenix didn't get to use their range, so now I'm trying to remember where it was before when they had the range. The Fangs will get to about here before they're in the Phoenix range, then the Phoenix is going to move Select about two target. inches forward. Okay. Well, if I whiff twice in one video, it'll be good content, Ion right? Cannon Don't say that, or people think I'm missing on purpose. More upgrades. You need to consider taking a leap these marksmen, they're getting so high level. But he doesn't really have any big targets for the extra damage to be necessary. Watching by a war factory now, I've said that. Let's finish fleshing out our Stormcaller line. Zillions of Stormcallers. I mean, he is kind of inviting it by having so many Mustangs. I'm not doing it just to be mean. And let's demonstrate the counter to Stormcallers, anti-missile devices. We've got the money for it, let's use them. Because if we win, we can protect them and keep them for the next round. 
and go on scorpion range. I've only got two of them, but let's use it. Try not to forget mobile beacon. We use it for a reason. It's very effective at making stone cores miss their first rockets. That's every penny spent and everything we can do. Let's see what he's done. Ion cannon ready. Anti-missile mustangs. Whoa. Fascinating. Come on, ion cannon. Ooh, we got the phoenixes. We got the shields. Now we should go track all the way across. Yes, good work. What a beautiful laser. How much value did it get? Whoa. Yes. And the thing with Mustang anti-missile is it gets less effective as the round goes on, so now the missiles are going to start hitting. And while his Mustangs are busy shooting the missiles, they're not shooting our wasps. As you can see here, they're just killing everything. Scorpion range makes such a difference as well, at least they're not walking forward slowly into storm cores. This'll be a good hit. A big chunk of his health is about to go flying away. Nice. Right, don't get cocky, kid. He can still win this. Keep our head in the game. We don't have a laser this round. Hmm, I've got 1800 cash to spend this round. We're playing a fairly static line, so speed isn't useful. Tech won't pay itself off unless I buy two techs. So I'm going to go with a small EMP, because we just need something to pick off those phoenixes, or make them more vulnerable so that we can pick them off. Ooh, he went for a flank play here and I didn't even notice. I think that's a bad sign. We could just use a missile to stop this, but I'm worried he's going to put an overlord or something behind it, so let's put some crawlers in front of it. They need subterranean blitz because our own fire will cause them mischief. Predicting he'll do the same over this side, and if he doesn't, well, we've got extra chaff, that's never a bad thing. Level our tanks up, improves their armor efficiency. Level these storm cores up because they're our last ones alive. And do we still want to sell these wasps? Yeah, we need the money for upgrades. And these level 1 wasps won't do anything. Even with the Mustangs distracted by the missiles, there's still just so many of them. So many level ups, I'm grinning ear to ear right now, but I'm not going to level up these fangs because they did no damage. I'm going to level up the crawlers though, because they've got subterranean blitz and they can survive fire after level 2, which will change the paradigm of the front line. Right, this is very likely to be the last round, so we need to push, get temporary range. And now we've got 400 left over. Would shields and our fangs do much? We've only got 3 sets. Ugh, it's too perfect to pass up. Upgrade you. Mobile beacon across. Hmm, we've not gained an awful lot of power here, we just leveled up everything. And showed up our flanks against his flanks. Hopefully it's enough. Let's find out. He's dropped a ton of chaff on the front line. Random shield. Uh, no big flank plays. Okay, I don't know really what he spent his money on here. Now comes the true test of our crawlers. Will they survive the fire with subterranean blitz? They're doing okay. They're doing okay. I like it. I like it. They've done great. Our tank line's advancing and our wasps are getting through. Nice. We're picking off the phoenixes, that's key. Not as much fire on the ground as I would have expected. So many stone crawlers, but we're still slowly making progress. There we go, we're about to get this tower on the left side. Nice. Come on, faster. Yes. Suddenly as the Mustangs fall, his entire front line capitulates. Ooh, that was a tough one. It's one of the ones where I feel like I had to go Stormcore, there was no other answer. He just had so many Mustangs. Once we got the armor on our tanks and the fire on the Stormcallers, he was in trouble. Whew. I don't feel like he made great use of his Stormcallers. He had extended range, same as we did. He went Senior Defense Specialist rather than Iron Cannon. I think the Iron Cannon just kept us in it. Glad we paid attention to the first one and corrected the angle of it. I don't know why I went this way in the first one. Diagonally upwards was much better, he saw it. He had so many Mustangs. But if you go Missile Interceptor on them, they spend all their time shooting down missiles, rather than doing damage. So they become less threatening and less useful. It meant that our armor on our Sledgehammers, with this many Mustangs, was so valuable. He had this many Phoenixes, but didn't go Elite Specialist on them. I think we've got this many high level Phoenixes, Elite Spec is always worthwhile. It keeps them a little bit safer, a little bit further away. Because right now our snipers are shooting them at 225 meter range with the anti-air. Hmm, what other differences were there? He went range in his tanks, whereas we went scorpion as the answer to tanks. And scorpions with range will always destroy tanks. I think it's no coincidence the turn we got range in our scorpions was the turn we started winning again. I'm so glad we got the extra chaff and I remembered to get subterranean blitz on the crawlers once the fire started appearing. Could have used a little bit more though behind the towers and further back. These wasps, wow, level 4 with an item. Really shouldn't have got the anti-attack on them, that was terrible. But they were just managing to get this tower which kept us in it. He was so focused on this side, 
He didn't build these Mustangs on the left until much later, but by then we'd outleveled them, and our tanks were strong enough to hold them so that we could push through and get into his space. I don't think he upgraded either of the towers. Oh, he did. This one on the left had the extra level. Sorry. Didn't notice that during the game. I find upgrading the tower makes a huge difference. If someone's playing asymmetrically, it just buys you that little bit extra time. I like these flanking crawlers. They pulled our missiles across at the start of the round. Pretty sure you should have mirrored it over here as well, on this side. To stop us getting the shots off before the Mustangs arrived, because even just a little bit of fire on the ground is devastating. Ooh, let's talk about range in the tanks. I thought it was an interesting choice on his part. Not sure I'm a fan of it, being honest. I think I'd rather have mechanical rage every day of the week. Just makes them better at killing chaff, which is their entire job. But I guess he thought he had these arc lights for close range work. But uh, I don't see many kills on them. I think I would have sold these arc lights. I have a sneaky feeling, I'll have to go back and look at the footage, that he started pushing too early for plus 200, and that's how we came back into the game with our economy. I'd love to be able to click on these missile interceptors and see how many missiles they shot down, because these guys never die for like the last three turns, so they must have done quite a lot of work for us. Yeah, his Stormclaws don't have that many kills, considering how long they were alive for and how many units there are on the board. Glad we took extended range in our Stormclaws, just that fire delivery service is so important. I think we should have taken Mechanical Rage in our tanks, looking back at it. Instead of shields and the fangs, we should have gone Mechanical Rage. We would have had the money, and then our tanks would have been a nice carry on their own right. Yeah, Rage on the tanks would have helped them clear off this chaff and his squishy Mustang so much faster. Then they would have been a threat onto his midline and even his towers and backline. Anyway, that was a very interesting game. I haven't seen anti-missile Mustangs in forever. Let's see how much combat power we've gained or lost. Ooh, almost 2,000 combat power, nice. And three MMR, yay! He must have been, what, a 1300, 1400 MMR player? Nice. Surprised he played off meta then. Top 10. That's not a bad place to be. I'm happy. Hope you enjoyed that and found that game as interesting as I did. Do let me know what mistakes I made, apart from the anti-air and the wasps, and missing with our first iron cannon. <laughs> ah. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next round.